Hi guys, I'm Kreta and welcome back to my channel. Happy 2024, happy new year. I literally cannot believe that we made it this far. It feels like 2020 was literally yesterday, but I'm so happy that we're in 2024. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make 2024 the best year possible. So every single year, I'm trying to glow up mentally and physically, but for this year, I decided to glow up more mentally and just like focus more on what's on the inside. So yeah, enough talking and let's glow up for the new year and make 2024 your best year possible so as i said i'm going to be glowing up more mentally so there are four steps that i will do in order to glow up so in this video i will be journaling doing a bucket list meditating doing a vision board and i will give you some tips on how to become the best version of yourself so by that being said let's just glow up and let's get into this video so the first thing i'll be doing is journaling and personally i love journaling like it just refreshes my mind and just i don't know i feel like so put together while I'm journaling because I either reflect on my day or just write things down that I want to keep in mind. So I either journal in my notebook or the app called Gratitude. So on this app, you can journal literally whenever you want. Like it doesn't matter which part of the day it is. And I find it so important to journal every single day. And not only you can journal on this app, but also it gives you a new quote every single day. So for example, the quote for today is to fall in love with yourself is the first secret to happiness. So yeah, now I'm gonna go do some journaling Okay, so the prompt that I got for today is what do you want to improve about yourself in 2024? So I'm just gonna share what I wrote in it So now that we're done with journaling, the next thing is creating a vision board, which is a collage of photos or words that basically represents how you want your year to look like, and it also motivates you to achieve your goals. I've been making these vision boards every single year now, and I've been absolutely loving it so far. And not only it's really easy to make, but also by the start of the new year, you can concentrate more on specific things that you want from this year. And I also already made some vision boards by the start of this year. I don't know, I just really want to have a small vision board that will have all of the goals for this this year but like not too much because obviously your vision board or whatever goal setting you do has to be realistic because what's the point making something to reach your goals that is not even realistic so yeah i'm gonna go and make a vision board on canva Okay guys, so it is the other day and yesterday I made a vision board so now I'm gonna go through it and explain. Okay, so in the center I put a quote which says 2024, a new era of me. And there are also a bunch of other quotes like sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Don't complain, just work harder. Which is kind of like a motivation. There is also a quote that says it's never luck, it's always God. I don't know, I just love this quote so much. I put this quote not only in this vision board but also in a few others that I made earlier and I also have it saved in my Pinterest. Okay, then moving on we have a bunch of pictures which basically represents how i want my year to look like okay so one of the photos is a test with 100 percent correct because i really want to focus in school this year and just succeed in general i also really want to start reading more because i used to love reading books so much and now i just don't read anymore so i really want to start a new habit of reading new books then we have pilates okay so i did make a new habit and i did started doing pilates this year and i absolutely love it i don't know why i don't do it anymore so i should do it more often i feel like it just literally feels amazing and then we have a picture with a bag stanley cup and then headphones it's just i don't know it just represents that i want to be really organized I don't really know. I don't know how to explain it. Then moving on, we have a photo which has a quote in it and it says, I attract incredible opportunities into my life. It's kind of like a manifestation into a new year. Then we have a journal. So I really want to keep journaling. I used to do it more often and I feel like I should start journaling in my notebook rather than my phone. And when you're journaling in a notebook, I feel like you get 100% of that feeling when you're journaling. But as I said, I started journaling on my phone. Okay, then we have a girl who's taking a walk and I'm hoping that 
that this year I'll go out more and just like meet new people, hang out with my friends or even just go out by myself Okay, lastly we have tennis So if you didn't know, I go to tennis twice a week and I absolutely love it And for me, tennis has always been a clean girl sport So yeah, and this year I'm just hoping that I'll just get better with tennis And yeah, that's my vision board for 2024 The next thing is a bucket list and goal setting So first I'm gonna do some resolutions and goals for this year And then I'll do a quick bucket list The first resolution that I set for myself is school So that's going great I'm definitely trying my best and everything's gonna be alright I need to just trust God I'm just trusting God with everything Especially like with school if I'm like really overwhelmed and stuck Just take a step back Everything's gonna be alright And God already has everything planned for you So you just have to trust Him So I'm doing good with school But as I said if I'm feeling overwhelmed and everything I'll just trust And I know that everything's gonna be alright at the end My second resolution I don't even know if that's a resolution But that's what I set for myself To take a YOLO as a mindset If you don't know YOLO stands for you only live once But I've been literally living with this mindset for forever now And I just started to just not care Like obviously not with everything But mostly just with other people's opinions Because at the end of the day it doesn't really matter What other people think about you Because everyone who goes either to the gym To school, to work, anywhere They go there for the same reason as you do And trust me they are not there to look at you To stare at you or judge you Everyone is here to work on themselves To either get a good workout in or to study literally just focus on yourself and just don't care even if they say anything does it really matter what they say about you i don't think so so i suggest for you to go out make new friends be cringe and have confidence and also find yourself some people who don't think that everything is cringe and embarrassing and as i said just don't care what other people think about you because people are always gonna find ways to hate so be yourself have confidence and never let anybody put you down because happy and confident people are not gonna come up to you and just hate for no reason and the last resolution that i set for myself is to use my voice to literally just be confident by myself and stand up for myself and now we have a bucket list i only have a few things added to my bucket list because i'll obviously add to it as i go but i do have some things from the top of my head so let's start with that literally all i have on my bucket list is to travel i really want to travel to exotic places also for food i don't know why but i'm literally obsessed with korean food even though i've never tried it so also try out new foods and then the last thing is just to spend quality time with my family and friends with the people that i love the most these are all the things on my bucket list i obviously add to it as i go like throughout the year but that is all i can think of from the top of my head so yeah let's go to the next thing so now i'm gonna do a meditation also guys look at my sweater it's literally so cozy and i have my pajama pants on was so good i don't know why but i haven't been doing meditations for so long now like i used to do 10 or 15 minutes before bed it feels amazing literally the best thing ever but this five minute one was so powerful guys that's it for meditation now let's go to the next thing also guys look how beautiful it looks like the whole room is like crazy literally so cute this meditation was literally so good guys i definitely recommend doing a meditation especially before bed literally i fell asleep on these so fast guys my god is going crazy okay so for the next and the last step for this glow up with me for 2024 i'll give you some tips on how to become the best version of yourself Tip number one is to cut toxic people. Just don't surround yourself with people who don't deserve being around you. Surround yourself with happy and confident people that just love being around you. Because at the end of the day, you should be happy with people around you. Because what's the point of being with someone who doesn't make you happy or constantly saying negative things and just like doesn't put any effort in your friendship? Tip number two is to declutter your room. Make your bed, clean your closet, organize. Because deep cleaning your room can literally change your whole mindset. Personally, me i love being in my room i spend most of my time there and i believe that fresh room equals fresh mind and you will definitely feel 100 way better and productive and put together just because of a clean room and for some people it may seem like a lot of chores but at the end of the day you're literally left with a clean space sometimes it's not that easy to keep your room clean every single day and yeah i'm talking from my own experience so deep cleaning your room once in a while is really important and not only for being productive and put together all the time but also for your fresh mind 
personally with a clean room i feel positive fresh and happy and that's what i look forward on doing every single day tip number three is to deep clean your phone delete all the storage that you don't need like all the photos and all the videos also delete all the apps that you don't use anymore and all the contacts of people that you don't text or call anymore just delete all the things that you don't need or you just don't use anymore because that takes a lot of storage in your phone so what's the point of keeping it step number four is make a vision board that doesn't work for everyone but i suggest on making something just to have a vision on how you want your year to look like and to just know what you want to focus more on that year so i suggest on making something that works for you it can either be a vision board or just like setting goals in general step number five is to wake up early okay well it's definitely not easy for everyone i am definitely not a morning person i love sleeping in as much as staying up late so but i suggest as soon as you hear your alarm go off don't snooze it because as soon as you hit that snooze button you're not gonna wake up i also really like putting a water bottle beside my bed so as soon as i open my eyes i could drink some water and that just wakes me up a little bit but just get up and go and that is really important especially in the hardest days when you don't feel like waking up and when you do it like actually do it you get out of bed instead of closing your eyes for a second it's gonna be way easier tomorrow and i consider making it as a routine so like the moment you hear your alarm go off you get up don't think about anything else just get yourself out of bed also it is really important to get enough sleep because even if you manage to wake up this early you will be exhausted by the end of the day or even during the day so when this happens to me and i go to bed later than i wanted to i don't expect to wake up really early i sleep in a little longer so i could have my 100 percent throughout the day tip number six is to try socializing with people more because there is a whole world beside your phone because what's the point at the end of the year just looking back and being being mad at yourself because you could have made more memories instead of being on your phone tip number seven is to focus on things that you love put your work into things that you enjoy and that you genuinely care about and what makes you happy and don't make excuses for yourself even if you're tired or you just don't want to do it just get up and do it because at the end doing the workout studying you're not gonna regret it and the last tip is just to not care obviously i'm not talking about school you should focus and put your 100 percent into it but i'm talking about other people and their opinions so i suggest for you to live your best life have confidence not care what other people think about you and just do what you love what makes you happy and when you actually start to not care life seems so much easier so these are all the tips that i suggest on trying to become the best version of yourself but that is it for this video thank you all so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed so if you stayed till this point of this video comment the firework emoji because of the new year also make sure to like leave a nice comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i'll see y'all back with another video love you guys so much bye